Squires, you must be tired, and more than a little confused, perhaps. As if having abominations are not enough, then along comes the Magi. Deus, what has the realm turned into? How do we let such evil take root among our nobility? And instead of joining the main force and charging at the enemy, we're to look after that man. I can't condone his methods, but that man you're rudely addressing saved our lives. Whatever happened, happened. We should be grateful to still be alive. Estric is your uncle, I see. The apple falls not far from the tree. Yet tis a fair question, milady. Why did the task fall upon us? Would it not be less conspicuous to send others instead of us whom he had saved? Surely the seneschal understands that there is a risk that we feel indebted to him. A actually, I think that's one of the reasons why the seneschal gave us this task. Can you explain it in a less cryptic way for the uh, less educated Camille? Imagine yourself a common soldier, guarding a man who wields unknow pa unknown powers of great might. Wouldn't you fear him? Wouldn't you be fearful for your own life? It's very much probable that you'd strike as soon as he does anything suspicious. Are thou saying that the Seneschal seeks to ensure his safety? Well, he would have just ordered the man to drown if he didn't care at all. Such a decision would also be more acceptable among the nobles, thus helping his reputation. But, perhaps more than anything, he feared for the safety of Sir Astori's guards. So it's better to send us away instead? I don't get it. Look, Sir Astori has destroyed his life to save ours. He wouldn't do anything to us to undo that. That's a different story for common guards. Who knows what he can do even in shackles. Camille with the Rhine, he'll make a great strategist one day with such insight. Such complicated reasons for such a single decision. Obvious have to make many difficult decisions like this in a split second. The Seneschal may not look like it, but there's a great mind behind that towering body. Are humans always this complicated when they decide on something? Nope, not me. I think we can all agree on that, Renard. Ailey thinks it's weird to even punish him at all. He saved our lives. Such a thing shouldn't be so hard to decide, right? With illegal methods, Ilion, one right does not make up for a lifetime of wrongs. He is fortunate that Seneschal did not send him to Witch's Nest. Death be a better fate than that. Huh? What's the Witch's Nest? It's a prison island, Ilion. The worst of criminals are sent there and locked underground. I heard that the cells are so dark and damp that prisoners slowly go blind over time. The wardens would inflict horrible pains but not kill the prisoners so they may suffer longer. Their wounds then soon become reeking gangrene, slowly creeping to the rest of the body. The slow rot to death turns many to madness, and many helplessly beg for a quick death. But chains keep them from suicide, and the wardens ensure they suffer for their crimes. It, humans can be very scary. There's a reason only the worst offenders are sent there, Ellie. Many of them deserve such cruelties. Ailey isn't sure which is scarier. People who can do things to deserve it? Or those who think such a horrible punishment is alright? Alright, enough of frightful bedtime stories. Each day the Enders keep arriving in large numbers. Severin won't wait for you for the assault. By dawn the army will might march to White Rock Hills and then to the northern coasts. We'll take on the Enders where they land their ships and lock them there before they can wreak more havoc. You re regroup with us as soon as you've escorted a story to Levantine and give Lord Levant the news. Understood, my lady. Levant soldiers have a house ready for your personal use. You'll find it in the southeastern part of town, just beside Severin's command house. Go and have some rest now, squires. It'll be a long day tomorrow. Alright, uh, let's peek around. I don't see anything sparkling. Let's just get on with things. We know where... Oh, not that way. That's a little annoying, having to go all the way around. We'll get off those rocks. We'll presumably have the opportunity to save before we get into any more combat. And I could be wrong, but... Greetings, honored squires. The house has been reserved for your personal use. Would you like to rest now? Yes, I feel tired. Very well, please take care of dividing the rooms by yourselves. 
All right, everybody's gone, just me, I suppose. And our usual opportunity to talk to everyone, I suppose. Oh, something else. Hath the investigation borne fruit? Some me ask Lord Gareth decreed that tis time we start following the heretic's trail. We ought someone to leave our post and join him in the hunt. And what of these remains? Shall we leave it as such for the scavengers? Tis fine, the Indians have pl plundered most items worthy of any value. The entire case castle has been swept twice. Everything that may be serve as clue may have been taken. Uh, pardon me. Everything that may serve as clue have been taken. What about the door to the underground? We've had it locked, the door is strong, not even the Indians managed to breach it. Rest assured, Alderic, thy former friend will be caught by the hands of the Inquisition. Come now, let us not make Lord Gareth and Sir Abel wait. I certainly hope so. Very well, lead then, and I shall follow. That seems a little suspicious, and who is that hanging out in the throne room, I suppose? Is that... They're gone. It's now or never, Cam. Oh. Cam's getting a peek at stuff herself. Let's see what she does. They locked it for good. Think, Cammy, think. There must be some way to get in. That man, he escaped from a back door. Maybe I can find where it is. Not this. Oh, I recall now we found that earlier. Not these either. I'm sure that's how secret doors work in most books. You found it. Maybe in the room? Go up. Yes, yes. Bookshelf. Come on, go to the bookshelf, Cam. I'm a heretic practitioner. Where would I put a secret door? Somewhere in plain sight. Somewhere not even a servant may touch. A bookshelf? This is it. Now I should hurry before anyone comes. Do I have control yet? Give me control. Th th this is the dungeon. Now, at least there should be something valuable left behind. Am I going to get any control? Hmm. Where should I start? The history of the founding. Nothing that can't be read in libraries. Manuals on stargazing and navigation? Reading everything takes too much time. I should hurry. Yes, look at the places where he's been reading books. They've cleaned, cleaned these up too? So meticulous, those Inquisitors. They really left nothing behind. Thank Kimmy, thank. There must be a hidden stash somewhere. This room is too obvious. It must be somewhere more mundane. Um, one of the cells? Let me try to get something from one of the cells before. Oh, come on. Do we have to sit and watch her go around to every place? I mean, at least she's kind of running. I knew it! A hidden book! Hmm, it's written in Celestian. This must have come from the main continent. Looks like a recipe of book of some sort. This could be useful. But, is it wise to keep this knowledge? Yes, take it. The heretic has shown that knowledge of such things can corrupt. But, Sarah's story has proven otherwise, that even forbidden powers can be used for good. Should I take the risk? Take the book. Come on, Cam, this is what you wanted. What you expected when you sneak sneaked in here? I don't like sneak, just snuck in here. Too far to turn back now. Davis, please let this be the right decision. Do I never get the opportunity to wander around with her? Huh.
The northern coast is harsh. It's unforgiving for the weak. Its salty winds are strong and dry, and your skin will wither and bleed as you move in your armor. Our enemies, the world enders, are bigger than us, stronger, fiercer. They came here crossing a sea that we all thought was the end of the world. And they did it with ships powered with the sheer strength of their arms. Our battle with them will not be easy. Let none of you believe otherwise. And through that battle, not all of us will survive. Not all of us can return to our homes. But even knowing this, we shall fight. For, we, for if we don't, there won't be a home left at all. The Old North shall stand through this war, and it will do so because of us. The realm will prevail because we, today, at this moment, do not falter. For the Old North! Long live the Ravager! Soldiers, let us march. It actually looks like a remarkably small number of soldiers. Humph, <laughs> showy as always. He, <laughs> you two never change, do you? Don't worry, Thetis. You'll never be Severin, but you have your own charms. Really? Nah, I'm just joking. Humph. <laughs> soldiers of Blanus, you heard the Lord General. Let us show the wolves of Levant that lions too have claws to bear. Paladins, let us march. I like the Paladin's armor. Arbiters, forward! Arbiters are actually pretty cool armor too. Not many of them, like eight. Whoa, Lucian's uncle looks so calm and composed. Do you want to be like him someday, Luce? No, I, I don't want to be like him, Ely. I want to stand at his side, serving him as a loyal lieutenant. Together we shall defend the realm, side by side. That is my dream. That's some hardcore idolizing there in your eyes. If you weren't his niece, I'd bet you'd want to be his wife as well. Damn, you're thinking about it now, aren't you? Uh, enough with this chatter. Let's just hurry and escort Sir Astari to Leventy and tell Lord Levant what happened. And we can catch up with the rest. Please, I'm not a sir anymore. Indeed, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. Shall we go now? Yes, shall we? Perhaps? There we go. Okay. Wrong way. Still no money. We'll want to drop a quick save just in case we jump right into something. There we go. And, er, this way? Little confused. What? Where's the exit? What did I miss? Oh, right there. I don't know, just the kind of flat shading kind of makes it a little more difficult to identify where things are. Can I scroll around this? No, guess not. I love to use back this way, right? So, back we go on the trail to hopefully find our way home. Probably it's not necessary to go up that way, huh? Well, that was easy. Where's Levantine again? Um, it's not up north, is it? I'm a little lost. That is wasn't quite back here. Oh, yes. 